Hi guys, I'm Pam. And I'm Nigel. And we're here to give you a nice jumps class. I hope you're ready for we've got a lot of drills in store. All right, we're gonna get started with 30 jumping jacks. To our stretch. We're gonna start with our feet apart, arms up overhead, reaching over to the right side, keeping our chest nice and open. Holding for 10. Three, two, one, coming into a flat back. Three, two, one, reaching down to our ankle, taking our opposite hand and pulling up our toe. Dropping that toe. Coming into a low lunge, we're gonna actually go ahead and try and take our forearms and down to the floor at least our hands on the inside of our leg. Drop down to those forearms if you can. If not, just keep your arms nice and straight. Make sure that back leg stays nice and activated. Dropping our back knee, straightening our front leg, toe to the ceiling, nose to knee. And sliding into our split. Coming out slow, repeating on the other side. Feet nice and wide, arms up overhead, and reaching to the left keeping that chest nice and open. Extending to a flat back. And down to our toe, pulling that up with the opposite hand. Coming into that low lunge. 
situating our legs and then reaching down to the floor. Dropping that back leg, straightening the front leg, toe to the ceiling, nose to knee. And sliding into split. Keeping our hips nice and square, shoulders nice and tall. and coming out slow. Coming back up, feet nice and wide. Arms reach up and then reach down to the ground. Dropping to our elbows and allowing ourselves to slide into our middle split. Coming out slow, onto our backs, getting ready to bridge up. And bridging up in three, two, one. Bridge up, feet together, legs nice and straight, arms are locked. Hold for five, four, three, two, and come down. Okay, starting our drills off with our straddle reaches. We're gonna start arms up overhead. Reach right, reach middle, reach left, and that'll be one. So one, go ahead, two, three, that's one. We're doing 10. Reach as far as you can. Moving on to hip flexor lifts on the right leg. Placing one arm on each side of our leg, chest up nice and tall. We're going to lift on the number for 10. Just lifting straight up and down. Good, repeating on the opposite side. Chest nice and tall, and lifting for 10. Hands in front, both legs, and lift. Good. Coming back to the right side, we're going to press and hold for 10. And lift. Eight, nine, 10. Relax. Other side. And three, two, one. Lift. Three, two, one, relax. Hands come in front, we're gonna lift both legs. Ready, three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, relax. Back to the right side, we're gonna do circles backwards. Wanna make sure these circles are going backwards so that they're opening our hips. Ready, three, two, one. And to the other side. Starting in three, two, 
one. Good, hands in front. Last time, three, two, one, both legs. Good. Now we're gonna come into straddle V-ups. Starting, laying all the way on the floor, arms up above our head. We're gonna come into a straddle, trying to get our chest through our legs, snapping up quickly, and then letting our feet come down to the floor slowly. Good, making sure that we're not slamming our feet and we're getting those shoulders up off the floor. Keeping our toes pointed through the extension of the V-up. Rolling over, stretching out our stomach. Returning back to our backs, this time for pike V-ups. Same thing, snapping up quickly, control back down so we're not slamming our feet. Making sure you're squeezing your feet together and pointing your toes through the extension of the pike. Good, rolling over, stretching out your stomach. Coming back onto our back. And starting now with rotating leg lifts. We're going to start on the left side. You're going to rotate up five, about 90 degrees, and back down. That's one, four more. The key is to make sure we're turning that knee so it's facing up. Once we do five high ones, we're gonna do five quick low ones, only extending about half as far as you just did. And these are nice and quick, good. Last one. And repeating on the other side. Moving on, we're gonna do calf raises. We have a, a panel mat here so that we can extend our range of motion. You can do these just flat on the floor or you can use a stair at home. So we're gonna do 10 feet together, lifting up, dropping our heels below the surface to extend that range of motion. I'm gonna do 10 feet together and then 10 on each leg. Good, and now repeating on the right leg. repeating the other side.
moving on, we are going to do bent leg calf raises. So we're gonna squat down, and now we're gonna lift on both feet. When we lift, this time we're only gonna go about 70% of the way that, of the distance that we went the time before. So just about 70%, not a full range of motion here. We're doing 10 on two feet. Good, standing up, shaking out those legs and getting ready to go on the right side. Good, it's okay if you need to tap that other toe for stability. And repeating on the opposite side. Moving on, we're gonna go to candlestick tuck jumps. Rolling up, hitting that candlestick position, jumping right into a tuck jump. For 10, that's two. Really focusing on keeping that chest tall and driving those knees up in the tuck jump. Hips up nice and tall in that candlestick shape. Good. Moving on to controlled squat jumps. You're gonna squat for four counts and then jump. So five, six, seven, squat, go ahead. So squat one, two, three, four, jump, five, six, seven, eight, squat, one, two, three, four, jump, five, six, seven, eight, keep going, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, jump, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, jump, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, jump, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, jump, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, jump, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, two, three, four, jump, five. Okay, repeating the controlled squat jumps on our right leg. 10 times. Lower, then jump. Reset in between if you need to. Take your time. Control lower, and jump. And repeating on the other side. Controlled lower to a quick explosion, pushing through your toes.
Moving on to seated toe touches without a swing. We'll do 10. Go to controlled snap lift. Keeping that chest nice and tall, rotating those hips under. Good job. Okay, moving on to kicks. We're gonna put that free arm in a touchdown and we're gonna kick forward and back 10 times. Looking for an explosive kick and a controlled lower. keeping our chest nice and tall throughout. Good, turning around, repeating on the other side. Today, finding a nice spot on the wall and getting set for wall splits. Scooching our butt all the way against the wall, legs up extended in a pike and opening to the side, allowing gravity to pull them down. Option to take this with ankle weights and just relaxing here, letting gravity do its job. bringing our feet together at the top and bending our legs and falling over into one side. All right, I hope you enjoyed that class. I know Nigel sure did, I'm right? Sweating, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.